All right, so what I'd like to do is show you how to find an equation of a line given the slope and when it passes through a point. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to say m is going to be our slope, which is equal to 3. And then we have our point, 0, comma, negative 2, which is going to represent our x and our y coordinate. Now, there's a couple ways we can do this. I'm going to use the point-slope method for this um, to show you how to do this problem. So if you remember, the point-slope formula is going to be y2 minus y1 equals m times x2 minus x1. And what you notice is we have our m, which is our slope, and we have one point, x, y. Now, we don't have two points, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get rid of my x2 and uh, x, x2 and x1, or x2 and y2, I'm sorry. I'm going to label these y, x1 and y1. So then, what we're simply going to do is, remember when we're, when we're finding an equation, we want to find them, we're going to have a relationship between our y and our x values. So it's okay that we're, we don't have an x and y to plug into because that's going to be part of our equation. So then what I'll do is I'll plug a 3 in for m, a 0 in for x1, and a negative 2 in for y1. So what I get is y minus a negative 2 equals 3 times x minus 0. And then what we'll have is we'll use my distributive property. So y plus 2 equals 3x, and then 3 times 0 obviously is going to be 0. I subtract my 2 over, and therefore I get y equals 3x minus 2. So therefore, this graph, if we were going to work on graphing, uh, when it goes to the point, when we know the slope, obviously the slope is, remember, your coefficient. If we were going to look at this in slope-intercept form, right? Remember, 3 is our slope, which is our coefficient m, and then our, and then our intercept was actually, our point was actually our y-intercept, which made it really easy, um, which was just going to be our b, which was negative 2. So really, you could have done this problem very easily and actually said, oh, I know what m is, and I know that my intercept is always at 0, b, so I could have just plugged in the negative 2 in for there and got the exact same answer. A little shortcut, but I wanted to make sure I could show you guys exactly how to solve the problem because you need to be able to do this for all types of problems, even when you're not given the x-intercept. So that's how you find the slope passing through a point and when it's actually your y-intercept.